It's a language that enables you to speak to machines. There's so many different types of coding, different languages. Rather than zeros and ones, you can put it into a sentence that you and I can understand. You can be a back-end engineer working on you know, services that drive websites or software. The way I see coding is more of a problem-solving approach. But you could also be working on um, front-end development where you're doing the things that people see. You're presented with an issue that a computer can solve and you use different languages to sort of um, solve that problem. My daily routine is uh, I come in to the office, we have a stand-up as a team, we talk about what we're going to do for the day, what we did the day before, and then we get on with our tasks. So I might be doing some coding, I might be doing some analysis work, I might be in meetings. Um, and then at the end of the day we might do another catch-up as a team. Um, but it's very collaborative, it's like a team-based role. We very rarely work uh, in isolation. Often we are in a team and we're trying to achieve uh, a certain goal, trying to develop a new feature or roll out a new uh, application to solve some problem. And the team is working together to, to solve that. You have a review, which is a demonstration to the stakeholders. So that's your goal, is to make sure that you've got the functionality developed and you can demonstrate it. And then you also have the retrospective where the team gets together to discuss what can we do better. Most industries are online. A lot of your business will come from websites. Without coding, you won't be able to interact with your potential customer. We need to deal with large amounts of data. Big data. It's called big data, exactly. We, actually, we have these huge systems to aggregate the data, analyze it, and you can identify trends which businesses will find handy. And that all needs coding. And then all needs coding. I'd say the most important thing is desire to learn, but also um, a logical mindset. To have some problem solving uh, skills. If you're into science or maths, then it, it's quite a natural um, career path to take. People are very proficient in, uh, in some of them, but no one is proficient in all of them. Just patient commitment and the willingness to go through the nine yards of learning to code. But at the same time, I think it's just, it's just an interest in technology in general and wanting to understand how things work and what it looks like under the hood.